Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today, we are going to work on a module base or a module outpost. So, in the last stream that I did, and I did upload the VOD of this to YouTube, or you can check it out on my Twitch, which is always linked in the description of my videos, uh, we set up blueprints and such to make a separate module base. Now, this is something I've done in my Sending Supporters to Space map, and other Mega Bases do a lot of the times because the amount of modules you need for a mega base is so so large uh, quantity wise that you know a base like a non mega base has a very hard time making them so uh, what we're going to do is have a separate base make them so that this base can still crank along with science so first things first is we need some materials so I'm gonna go up here to our little mall and I'm gonna dump uh, most of my current stuff into a chest and uh, then we're going to grab the stuff we need so I'm going to dump I want to make sure not to dump the stuff that like I'm uh, I'm requesting because then we're just going to get it back uh, so I'm going to dump like uh, let's see we we actually need quite a bit of this I'm going to dump most of this stuff going to dump the little power pole the yellow undergrounds uh, really pretty much all of these blueprints for now. I'm just, <laughs> I'm debating. We may actually need some of these. Um, dump the gun turrets. And uh, let's see. Actually, I really think I may need most of this stuff. So, I mean, that's actually pretty pretty decent. We, we have a fair bit of room left. I'm going to dump that in there too. So we didn't need to dump that much off. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab some more of these. Um, we now have like 75. Uh, we're going to grab some more of these guys. We have over 100 of those. And then track, we do have gears. I'm going to just grab some gears here, some circuits, iron. This is kind of like a nice central location to take all this stuff. Uh, some inserters. Might as well just grab like all of the inserters. Uh, several stack inserters as well. And then miners. We needed miners, uh, which are up here. Whoop, up, up, up here. So we'll grab some miners, and what else do we need? So there's actually no radar down there. We need quite a bit of belt. So let's go ahead and go down and grab some belt. And uh, and yeah, so so what we've done is we've picked this location over here, and th this is perfect because this has iron and copper and coal. And uh, the coal is going to be for the plastic. We will need to train in oil, which can just come from like over here or something. We'll just train it in, and it looks like we will need to train in more iron. So we, we may tap this patch and bring it down. Uh, but once we get down there, you'll see kind of how I've laid out some stuff, and it will make a bit more sense. But uh, that's essentially just going to solely supply the um, the modules. It's just going to only make modules. That's pretty much all it's going to do. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of stuff, and we should be able to head out there and get at least most of this built, is my hope. We may not get the oil built yet, uh, but at least most of the parts and uh, I, I wanted to show you this on camera just so you know we can I can like show what I'm doing and you actually see it happen uh, instead of just you know having one episode and then the next episode just being like oh by the way we just built this entire base <laughs> that uh, that you didn't know about so this we're not going to get built yet although the bots are eagerly going to place the pipes uh, we'll come over here though and let them start doing that now, I did not place power. Um, we can just do this manually. I'm not going to worry about, like, really, like, OCD-ish power or anything. Just as long as stuff is powered, that's all I worry about here. Uh, we didn't bring beacons. I knew we forgot something. Or furnaces, for that matter. We brought some furnaces. Uh, so we're using our... We're using a beacon furnace design. And this is one that I came with up with on stream as well. Um, so I'll kind of show you this and explain it as we build it out. So we do need, of course, the beacons and all the belt and inserters. My poor little bots are just struggling. Let's let's take out a laser defense, put in another robo port that should hopefully get these guys going a bit more. So now that compression is uh, like fixed, quote unquote, uh, you know, that you don't have to do the weird like splitter thing at the end and side loading compresses, this made our setup much simpler than what I was, was designing quite a few episodes ago. Um, that didn't turn out too well. So this is 14 furnaces. This will fully compress a blue belt. And we actually need two inserters. 
on one of these, um, either the first one or like the last one. But uh, it's it's very simple. So ore comes in one side, a uh, full blue belt, and then this outputs a full blue belt of, of plate. So like, uh, we did not bring near enough blue belt. Uh, so these first seven output onto one side and then it side loads, goes underneath and side loads here. And then these put onto the other side and you get a full belt out. Like I said, one of these does need to be um, double inserted. So like, we don't actually have any blue belt, but we'll get it there. <laughs> um, so we'll just let this place as much stuff as we can. And then we'll probably have to go back for another run of materials. And I like, I even took all the inserters I could and such. So uh, we then have a red build. Uh, we just copied the red build and that's gonna be fed, of course, plastic from one side, copper from the other, and then circuits are here. So circuits will just have to wrap around a little bit and uh, that'll do that. And then this circuit build, um, well, I guess supply reds and blues, and then we'll build another circuit build below it. And that will be just the circuits for the modules. It probably won't need to be this big in all honesty. So we're gonna get that done and then we'll just build some module builds and this thing can just crank away on modules without actually affecting the main base. So these guys are doing their best here to catch up and we had over 100 power poles and it still wasn't enough. This is a bit crazy. It's so deceiving like how much stuff you're actually gonna need. Apparently I just did not have near enough of anything. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, Actually quite surprising. I thought I'd have enough to like almost finish this. I guess I guess not. Can't place a little more yellow belt here though. What's these guys charge up? Alright. Red build is done. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think we can really do much here. This this actually this build is almost entirely built. Uh, so that's really good. We can run back. Let's grab some furnaces. So we need furnaces. We need beacons. Uh, we will need modules, obviously. And then we need pretty much just belt and inserters and power poles. So, like, everything. Uh, we'll, we'll run back and grab that stuff. Uh, actually, what we could do, we still have miners left. Oh, I didn't. Um, yeah, we could go ahead and get some of this being mined. This is kind of an awkward patch. I think I do want to do vertical just because I think it will work out a little better for the lines. So we'll just do this. Boom. Like that. And then of course we will want some sort of balancer. And I did build a little four to four or four to two balancer. It is technically a four to four, but um, I find that you really want to still do those for like a four to two or something. And then just only output two lines rather than trying to do some like wonky different four to two because a four to four will work totally fine for you know like a four to two you just don't output the other two lanes all right so we'll zip back over here try to avoid this i don't want my bots getting sidetracked and uh yeah so then all we really need to train in is oil obviously and that's super easy and then some iron but that that doesn't have to be like right away uh, but this iron patch won't support quite what we need. The copper one should. It, you know, it's about double the size of the iron one. But uh, again, that's pretty easy. I mean, it's like a straight shot almost. You know, if we put a station here-ish, come down, and boom, hook it in. And uh, we're, we're in good shape. So yeah, the, the point, you know, again, to reiterate, because people, I don't know how many people do this or not. Um, we are making modules here and such. But, you know, like the furnaces, you can see how much they're taking. Um red circuit wise and such is this like not enough room or not enough room not enough materials for the um for the whatchamacallit whatchama calls it the modules and such now did i not did i not put it i know i put a chest down here did i didn't i dude i know for a fact i put a chest down here collecting these am i just like insane i may just be insane <laughs> I know I put a chest down collecting these furnaces, man. Uh, and there's no network here, right? Oh no, that's the wrong build. No wonder you idiot. I like keep forgetting that I expanded this farther down. That's the second half of the science. This, this is the part that I was thinking of. Uh, we can go ahead and launch another rocket. Okay. Duh. It was... 
Oh dear, it was this one where I'd done that. Uh, how many, I don't know how many furnaces we were missing. I'll just grab like a little bit over a hundred. They brought me belt, which is awesome. And uh, we need more, we actually may not need that many more assemblers. I don't think we need more stack inserters. We do need a lot more fast inserters. I don't, we don't need long inserters, that's for sure. I'll just grab some more of those. Um, we need many, many more power poles, even more miners. And then I think that was mostly it. I mean, pipes. I could request in some pipes because clearly this condition's met. So we must have pipes like sitting in storage or something. So we'll just request those guys in. We'll just request 200 pipe, not 2000. <laughs> Jeez. Hit an extra number there. Yeah, there we go. So I think... Or not. Come on, dudes. I know you just really... You just gonna make me do this? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so that, that'll that take care of most of what we need. Beacons was the other thing. I'm gonna dump this stone. Probably took a bit too much pipe, but that's okay. So we'll just go ahead and yoink some beacons from over here. Just grab as many as I can carry. 80. That... I don't think that'll quite do it, but it'll be somewhat close, maybe. Oh, that's what I said last time. Okay, so this guy will get hooked up, and then I don't think we'll get around to, like, building the module builds this episode, but uh, it should be pretty straightforward, and then he can just crank along on that. The main base can do science, and then, like, um, and then, like, beacons and the furnaces and all that stuff that we're going to need in, in the belt, obviously. So I'll let these guys place what they can pipe-wise. And this is so nice not having to do this by hand. Oh my goodness, the pipes. Pipes, like, in, you know, straight pipes are easy, but when you have to do kind of weaving and, like, rear configurations, it is, it gets really, really tedious to do by hand. It's uh, pretty crazy. Okay, so these are obviously going to be missing the modules, but... We'll collect them next time in the bots. That's what this little blue flashy thing is. The bots, um, we'll just place them in. And then, uh, also, if you don't know, because I didn't know for the longest time and it's really annoying. So if you put modules in by hand when a bot request is being made for them, like here. So if I were to put modules in here, um, the bot request won't go away because it wasn't uh, fulfilled by a bot. So what's gonna, so what you have to do then is if you right click, I'm not gonna do it because I want a bot to put it in here, but if you right click, see how there's a different little hitbox here. If you right click on this icon, it'll get rid of it. So if you do happen to put models in by hand and want that icon, that little warning gone, you can just right click on it and it will get rid of it. Uh, so we didn't get enough blue belt again. I wasn't actually requesting any. I knew I forgot something. Dude, every single time, <laughs> every single time I forget something. It's really annoying. And this is like, this is like what happens when I travel too. This is why I don't travel much. Part of the reason. Like, because I, I make a checklist in, holy hell, these power poles. <laughs> and, and, but then I, like, forget to put something on the checklist. Just, like, every time I forget something. And, and whether it's being a factory or real life, like, when going on a trip, it's really frustrating. So, wow, we still didn't have enough assemblers. Come on, man. Well, we should have enough belt, at least, for them to finish this out. This, I mean, this takes a lot of materials. And power should be interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to affect our power, uh, but what we can do is let's get a few connections in here just so make sure that everything is indeed set up. And uh, I've set some markers here with combinators. So these bottom two smelters are going to, or bottom three, sorry, are going to be um, copper, and then the next two are going to be iron, and that should be enough to supply this circuit build. And then, uh, and yeah, so iron, okay, right, miners. Iron's gonna go in these top two, then copper in these next two, and uh, we should be in decent shape that that way. Like I said, the iron isn't quite enough. This one patch, like drill-wise, isn't quite enough to uh, support that many furnaces, but it'll be easy enough to bring that other, you know, train down from that other patch. Uh, now, do keep, you know, we do have, like, level 25 or 26 mining productivity, so that does help a lot because that's 50%, each one's worth 2%. That's 
mining productivity. So like every two cycles of the miner, we get free ore, a piece of free ore, which um, obviously not only helps the patch longevity, but helps, oh, I guess I deconstructed fish, uh, which you can do by the way. Um, you know, it does help with like saturation on the belt and how much it produces in general. So there we go, this patch is set up. It's a little bit wonky, but not too bad. And uh, we'll just, I'm just gonna use red belt for this. Like I have more of it. I'm just gonna use it. And currently in our main, in our base, iron is not something we're short on for once. It's like, uh, it's not. So I don't mind just making a ton of red belt. You know, it's interesting. This kind of demonstrates like the transition the game makes is you know, early on in kind of into the mid part, we were just constantly short on iron and you almost always will be. But then now it's more of like a circuit shortage. And I mean, some of that is maybe due to an iron shortage somewhere else. But in general, it's just like not enough circuit production. So it's interesting. It kind of moves from, you know, just a pure iron problem to, you know, problem with with circuits typically. Uh, so we really only need three lines, although Hmm. Hmm. If I build another circuit build, there's not really room for more smelters, which is not good. Um, actually, I may want to rearrange this before, <laughs> while I still can. Uh, so, yeah, what we want to do is that's going to be in the way. So this is going to not be pretty. I apologize, guys, for anybody who... <laughs> It ain't gonna be good. Oh, that's the wrong direction. That that actually works then. So we're gonna move this all up. Um, because what we can do, so iron, 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 iron. Oh wait, shit. Iron, iron. No, iron, iron, <laughs> iron, iron, and then this one would be copper, copper, copper. So we need one more because we would need six copper and four iron. So I'm pretty sure we need one more of these, which will barely fit. So what this is going to do is then like a train can come in and give iron this way. But what, so why I'm doing this now is because that means we actually need to reroute this stuff, which means it would actually be better to go out the top. And these guys are taking all my belt. It would actually definitely be better to go out the top. Dang it. Even when I thought I planned it out, it, it just didn't go as, as planned. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll have to rebuild one of those up top. But that That's easy enough. So we're just going to reverse these belts. Just drag on top of them, get them reversed. Boom, and then we can tear up the excess because obviously we don't need these sticking out here. I could just use this. I, wonder, I don't think Upgrade Planner can change the direction of a belt. I don't believe. Okay, so those will go up. And uh, then they'll go into some smelters and then the copper will go in. Okay, that's a, that's a bit better. Because that way we can support another circuit build if we need it. And based on that, like these beacon, especially electric furnace builds, these beacon electric furnace builds take a lot of power. So I kind of doubt our current power is going to sustain this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Really what I need is a six, six balancer out. Because we we're going to have six copper lanes. So we need six lines out, uh, which means, and we have like seven coming in well we could let's just do a six to six 12 to 12 uh oh no that's just the 12 to 12 um where are my balancers here we go so I mean, we could do like an eight to eight i've been told that like these powers of four or whatever are better um so we could do an eight to eight and then just have two lines and not do anything. So that's a six to six, theoretically. What does an eight to eight look like? I actually like this one better. And then we'll just have two lines not do anything, I guess. Because then we could we could import seven, the seven we have, 
and then, or, or not even connect these, import eight and then get six out. I think we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna run some of these this way first because some need to like tie in there. So we're gonna have to kind of offset this a bit, which is a bit, which is kind of awkward. This is actually gonna get very awkward. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work. Uh, it looks like we are lacking the undergrounds, but that's okay. So yeah, this one, we don't really even need to connect this then. We can just feed this guy in. Hopefully I left enough room for all this to actually connect. And there we go. Yeah, things are, things are gonna start getting a little bit messy here, guys. And that's about it. Sweet, okay. And uh, we are at 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna call this one because we'd have to run up, get another supply, and uh, then place it. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. By next time, I will have this built, hopefully, and uh, then we can just set up some module builds, let that grind away. I'll do some more research too, which reminds me we need to do more research. Oh wow, we're actually at 29 now. It's pretty good. So things are going, things are going nicely. Um, I, I'm glad I made this decision to finally switch to the module base. It's uh, it's just gonna be a lot better like than trying to make this base do modules and science because it's just not really set up for that right now. Uh, it can do the other parts, but the modules are just so expensive when you need them in bulk. So I think that's gonna do it. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and that uh, we can launch one more rocket on our way out. Leave any thoughts, comments, questions you have down below in the comments. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.